Hello Virgo! Welcome to my channel. My name is Tree and I'm here to read the cards for you. I am here to provide messages from the universe through the cards to help you with your manifestation process or to help you to overcome obstacles. And this is a timeless reading, so whenever this reading finds you, it was meant for you. And especially if this message resonates with you, it was meant for you. Okay, Virgo, let's go ahead. I'm going to get with um, this, use this Rider Waite deck. I'm going to start with those strongest energies right now. We're going to clarify them. Uh, but first of all, let's go ahead and begin with this. So, for Virgo's highest good spirit, please give us the best, the strongest energies, the clearest meanings that we can take from them. For Virgo's highest good. So the first card is the star card, Virgo. Very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this. She's a pretty card. So it's healing. It's a dream come true. Your wish come true. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Major Arcana card. One of the best. All right. Let, your next card is Temperance. Oh, wow. Another Major Arcana for you, Virgo. A beautiful card about patience and time and the past and the future and staying present um, the blending of alchemy and the blending of um, all of the things that go on in the background that the angels are doing for you to bring about your wishes and your dreams come true and then what beautiful message so far okay the next card we have is the four of pentacles so we have a security um, a security in finances um, or perhaps holding too tightly let's see what else we have oh wow beautiful three of cups all the girls getting together the the beautiful bounty the celebration the camaraderie the the um just the cell this beautiful celebration here it's just a lovely reading here so far all right, let's go ahead and get some clarification on these cards. I'm going to use the Rider weight, uh, the smaller deck that I have here to help me to clarify these cards and what they mean for you, Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify these cards and what they mean for Virgo. Okay. Okay. The star card is clarified by the Eight of Wands. Uh, take action on your ideas. Life is moving ahead. So, very quickly, uh, quick, uh, some change, something quickly happening in in regards to this star card. Something, uh, some quick change is happening to give you the healing that you need or to give you the help that you need or the dream the manifestation that you're looking for uh, so it's a very good sign they're both um this is they're both eights these both are eight cards so i'm thinking you know you have well there's confirmation about that and there's also you know this is the eighth month right now if this is a timeless reading we're also heading into you know at this time at this time of this filming we're heading into your brand new year your birth year your birth month is coming up so um or or actually your week the weeks ahead could be your birth day but so you know the, we're, you're starting a new cycle that way a new year and um there's going to be a lot of fast change a lot of action going on here but you have the star card as a support as a uh you know a confirmation that you are helped you are you are being guided you have 
you know, the angel on your side. You have angels. The temperance card is also showing that the angels are on your side here. And that card is clarified by the three of wands. Wow. Finding your inspir find your inspiration to take action, planning, expansion. This is another. This is uh, a good way to explain temperance in this situation here. You know, you you want to slow down, take the time. You've got you've got this open opportunity. You have this wide ranging potentials here, and you have the the angel of temperance is explaining and, sh and telling you also that whatever you plan for, it does take time. It is going to take, uh, you know, some, some planning and, and focus, um, but it's going to happen. You've got the angels on your side and don't forget, you know, you are going to get to this place of glory here. Um, but remember to stay grounded, to stay, uh, to stay in your faith about this and to remember that, like I said, the angels are working on this. So it's not something you can push or force or, uh, you know, make things, you know, you don't have to make it happen other than taking action on your ideas. That's all you have to do and let the angels do the rest, you know, let, let divine timing do the rest. Okay, so uh, the four of pentacles, I'm interested to see how this is clarified. Okay, it's clarified by the two of wands. Believe in your personal power. So it looks like uh, you're here. Here you are in this, uh, at this point of deciding on what to move forward on, um, what your first steps are, and perhaps you're feeling a little bit uh, nervous about letting go of something that you already have. Um, you're feeling secure in what you have and you don't know if it's a good time to break out or to do something more or to take a risk or to make an investment of some kind. Um, so, um, you know, and, and you have all these ideas and these this action coming at you, coming coming at you to make a decision, but it's time to hear this card is saying that, you know, go ahead and take the time and think it out. Um, and perhaps don't um, disregard the opportunity simply because you have the stability here. Um, but rather use, uh, you know, use this as a jumping off point, perhaps. Consider the potential of, of taking a leap of faith or taking a, uh, another opportunity that's coming your way. So we have the celebration card, this three of cups. It's clarified by the justice card. So um, we have, um, we have the justice card is making me feel like that's the reason to celebrate here because there's a healing taking place there's a um there's a great reason to celebrate here and justice is is part of that reason that you have uh to celebrate to um you know justice is turning out in your favor and it's causing you to to be able to celebrate for and it and it could be justice for everyone here involved um this is a beautiful outcome card it's a beautiful card of abundance and a, you know a, a celebration of the harvest a cell it could be a celebration of a win uh you know in in law or um um cause and effect balance and fairness and um you know remembering that too when among your friends as well to 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 uh, treat, you know, uh, to be fair and just and balanced with your friendships in order to, um, you know, create this set, this uh, energy of celebration and love and, uh, you know, cooperation and community with each other. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see if there's some more information we can get about this situation. It looks like basically... Um, basically you are in, you are entering a fa a new phase of 
um, opening up for new opportunities. Um, there's a lot of information here about taking action on your ideas, finding inspiration to take your action, and believing in yourself. Um, knowing that you have angel you have divine protection and divine help and and you know you're going to have you have justice on your side you have your friendships on your side so you don't have to be afraid or overly cautious i mean of course you always want to be cautious but be wary of being overly cautious and not and allowing i mean whatever is meant for you it will not pass you by they say and i believe that is true so you know you can take your time and think about things a little bit you know as long as you need to or want to um but just recognize that you know there's some really powerfully beautiful things uh powerful um energies that are supporting your growth at this time and your abundance at this time let me see if I can get a few more messages. Um, I'm going to get those from the Spirit Animal deck. A few more messages, advice about how to deal with these or how to, you know, how to t take these uh, energies to heart. What to make of these for you, Virgo, at this time. Oops. Well, let me get, get my hands on these a little bit better. All right. Thank you, Spirit. For Virgo, what does Virgo need to be aware of at this time for their highest good? Okay, there's something there. All right, what else? Anything else for Virgo from this deck? Okay, look at that. Okay, let's get these. The first card we have here is the Panda Boundaries. Your space is sacred. Guests who overstay their welcome impact your aura. And you have every right to stand your ground. Your needs are important. You must nurture your soul with the same gentle love and support you offer to others. Okay. All right. Then we also have the sheep, innocence. You are encouraged to reconnect with your inner child in order to become more spontaneous and playful. And consider what life has to offer with a greater sense of wonder. Take some time this week to get in touch with the innocence and vulnerability in you. And that also reminds me of both of these cards too. Um, innocence and vulnerability. You know, like the temperance card. It's like the angels are, you know, they're supporting you. They're, they love they love you. They, they appreciate your innocence and your... Um, you know, they want you, they, they want you to be, they want to encourage you to, to reconnect with your inner child and to be, um, you know, curious about what, what you can accomplish for that inner child. The bear strength. The bear symbolizes a strong set source of support in times of difficulty and adversity. It may be time for you to stand for your beliefs or your truth with strength and confidence. You are free to roam at will and follow your path. And that's that's what we're seeing here too with this two and three of wands to follow your path, to you know uh, explore what you have before you. And um, you know don't don't be feeling constricted. You know, you, you're free. You have clarity and truth on your side. You have justice on your side. You are seen by the angels as innocent. And um, they, they know that you need your boundaries respected. And they know that, you know, you are, you know, like... Like the star, you, you know, your your sign is the maiden, the virgin, the maiden, the, the innocent, the... Uh, pure um, earth you know goddess or angel yourself and so you know you are a very special soul for for um, you know the angels to they love you very much I want to go ahead and get an angel message too we have a lots of angels here and lots of information from angels I'm going to go ahead and see what angel message spirit has for you today Thank you, Spirit. 
All right, we have an angel message for Virgo today. Okay. Okay, look. You have, it looks like the Archangel Michael here. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe, and this situation is under perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. So there you go, Virgo. You have beautiful messages of reassurance from divine from the, the divine. You have reassurance from the angels. We, you have so much. You have justice on your side. You have the star on your side. You have temperance working. Divine timing is taking place and it's working things out in your favor. You are a beautiful soul that the, the universe loves you and appreciates your innocence, your strength, and your truth. Everything about you is beautiful and you know, that's, that's why you have also reason to celebrate, to enjoy your life, you know, uh, explore your possibilities, especially if you, if you're coming up on this, on a new year, a new birth year for yourself, uh, very soon, you know, this is another reason to, you know, plan ahead and be like, you know, the two and the three of wands here and, you know, think about your, um, the potential that you have going on there. So, I would just want to uh, go ahead and stop in this reading to here today because, you know, this is a beautiful place to end. It's a good, strong message for you. I hope that you appreciate it. I hope you got something out of it, that you enjoy that. Um, I would ask that, um, invite you to come back again to subscribe to the channel if it resonates for, for you, if you enjoy this. Um, I sure do enjoy giving you this message. It was a beautiful message for a and so I love it. I love you. I want to say I appreciate you. And until next time, love and light. Mm.